What is up you guys, Jordan here from The Gentleman's Cove. Thank you for stopping by the channel once again. So this is going to be a haul video from things that I have accumulated over the past months since I have not done a haul video in a long time. Everything will be in the description below, so if you are curious as to where you can purchase these, uh, the links will be right down there. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. I do men's fashion, grooming, hairstyles, lifestyle, travel, pretty much everything revolving around the men's world. So let's just jump right into it. First up to show you guys is a pair of suede olive loafers from Allen Edmonds. The tassel loafer is definitely one of my favorite shoes for anything dapper, and this one is no different. I love the leather detailing that it has around the upper with the brown leather and the brown tassels. It just gives it that little extra flair instead of having everything all one color. Here we have another pair of Allen Edmonds loafers. This is going to be in a dark brown leather colorway. Once again, just another clean, clean look, clean silhouette. I'm a big fan of loafers simply because I love the versatility. I think they're very sophisticated. I think they're very sexy, but they're also very casual and very versatile. You can wear them with pretty much anything. Sticking with the loafer theme, this is a suede navy loafer from the brand. I'm probably going to butcher it, but just <laughs> bear with me. Uh, Solo Vier, they're from Paris. This is a Belgian loafer, so unlike the tassel loafer, this is going to have a separate material sewn on to the upper or the vamp, whatever you want to call it, of the actual shoe. It just gives you a different look. It's definitely more of a slipper look than it is of a loafer look, but it is still a loafer. Kind of looks more like a moccasin and a slipper, but I like this for a very casual look, a very casual vibe, but once, I, once again with a loafer, they're very versatile, so you can also wear it with a suit. Here we have the Todd Snyder PF Flyer Rambler High in an all black leather colorway. I didn't have a black sneaker and I am in love with PF Flyers and when I saw this on sale, I decided to get it. Next up is this piece right here from a vintage shop in Berkeley, California. It is actually a scarf. It's a vintage scarf. It's more of like a mini scarf. However, I use it around my belt loop uh, as more of like an accessory, like a bandana. And I will admit that I did steal this idea from Sanj over in London um, simply because I like the look and it inspired me and I saw it and I wanted it. So thank you for that. Shouts out to Sanj. Here we have a green beanie in a rib knit finish. I prefer rib knits in the beanies that I wear just because it makes it feel a little bit more snug on my head. So I have this green one and this blue one that I bought from Jack Threads. I think they were like $6. So there's that. Also, I like these beanies because you can roll them up and they can go above the ear, which is the look I like because, you know, I'm sporting that fresh out of the penitentiary look. You guys have probably seen this in some of my videos and Instagram pictures. This is a gray, wide-brimmed hat from some little shop in San Francisco called Carrie Lane if you want to check it out while you're in the city. Nothing much more to say about it. It's just a felt wide brim hat. Uh, no branding really on it. It's just a gray colorway and I liked it because I prefer the look of these wide brim hats because it makes me feel more of like a, a 30s and 40s era, like a mobster mafia look, which is what I like to go for. Also picked up this Lab Series Tinted Moisturizer. It is a SPF 35. One thing I recommend though, if you have naturally oily skin, I don't recommend this because with my personal use, I do see that it makes my skin pretty oily. Um, there's other moisturizers out there that are not as oily. Check out Kiehl's in that case if you, um, they have stuff that's catered for pretty much every skin type. So, but this one I like from Lab Series if you have uh, no oil on your skin as it is. Another knickknack I picked up is this pocket watch right here. It is a sterling silver with hints of gold plating on the front. It has a very cool hunter vibe on it, which is what I liked when I saw it. And some of you guys have been giving me flack on a pocket watch, which I don't really understand since it was a staple in any man's wardrobe back in the day. I like to wear pocket watches when I wear vests simply because it gives me a different look. Not many people wear it. And it serves the same function as a watch on my wrist, but instead it's in my vest. So I don't know what the big deal is. I like it, it looks cool, and I can still tell the time just as easily as doing this. So, you guys are just haters. <laughs> Here we have a vintage Wranglers denim jacket. I got this at a thrift shop in the city as well. I believe it was $25. Um, it's just a light washed denim jacket. It just so happens to be vintage. You can find these from Levi's, you can find them on yeah, Forever 21, you can find them at H&M. However, I do recommend checking out your local thrift shop for denim jackets, simply because the fits are nicer, the quality is way better, and it is also a lot cheaper. So, Vintage Wrangler, 
fits amazing, very true to size, and you can tell the denim is very high quality denim. Here we have a 100% wool, I don't even know really what, this, know what this is, it's a half zip sweater I'm assuming, but I loved the pattern on this, I am a sucker for patterns, and when I saw this in the vintage shop, I decided to pick this up as well. It's oversized, so I just roll up the sleeves, and it kind of fits me pretty well at that point, but it's just something that I saw and I had to have. You can't go wrong with black, red, yellow, and cream. Um, and it's, I've never seen this before, so I figured, why not have it in my wardrobe? And I have fallen in love with it, so check out your vintage shops. Next up, here we have a red bangle striped uh, button-up shirt from my friends and favorite people in the city, Taylor's Keep. This is a custom shirt, so it fits me like a glove. If you guys are looking for that more tailored and dapper look, I highly recommend getting your shirts tailored or just simply getting custom shirts made for you. Not much more to say about it besides it has a removable collar which is something that I wanted simply because I could use it as a band collar or I could just attach a collar to it and give it a traditional button up look and it gives the contrast with a white collar and the bangle stripes. And here is the same thing but in a blue bangle stripe colorway. Um, I wanted both of them because I'm into the Peaky Blinders look and this is what they wear in the Peaky Blinders show, so yeah. Here we have one of my custom suits from Taylor's Keep as well since this is pretty much where I get all my custom suiting done. Not much more to say about it, it's just a custom suit, three piece. It has a double breasted vest, single breasted jacket, and cuffed high waisted pants simply because I like the more traditional classic look. And also my gray suit, and it's not actually a full suit, it's just the vest and the pants from Taylor's Keep. It is a light gray flannel, I believe it's roughly around 9 ounces, so it's not going to be too heavy, not going to be too light. It's perfect for this weather up here in Northern California. And yeah, it's just from Taylor's Keep, so it's going to be custom as well. And not much more to say, besides it's just a vest and pants. So there you guys have it, that is the stuff that I have been accumulating that I haven't showcased in my favorites videos or any of my other things, so I thought I would just throw it into a giant haul, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm curious to hear from you guys, what is something that you have picked up recently that you love? I, am, uh, I would love to hear from it in the comments below. Everything, once again, can be found in the description if you are curious as where to get it, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you very soon. Alright.